Use knowledge of place value to multiply whole numbers by 10, 100 or 1000. If we wanted to do 72 times 10, we're doing 10 lots of 72. Now we could write that out as um, a long addition or we could think about what happens to the figures that make up this number. If we multiply by 10, our figure in the tens column moves into the hundreds column and our figure in the units column moves into the tens column. So our new number is 720. We have got zeros after the two here. We could put a decimal point in and think about the numbers in the tenths column and the numbers in the thousand in the hundreds column, hundredths column rather, and the thousandths column. Um, so if we're multiplying by a, a greater number than 10, then we, we might need to consider these. But for now, we can just think about moving the figures um, to the left uh, when we multiply through by 10. If we multiply by a larger number, let's say 49 times 1,000, it's the same principle. We'll need to think about more columns. We've got, our, at the moment, our 9 is in the units column. Our four is in the tens column to make up the 49, but we've also got a hundreds column and we've got a thousands column and we've got a tens of thousands column as well. So our original number is 49, four tens and nine units uh, because the, fir the first zero here moves the four into the hundreds column. The next zero moves it into the thousands column and the next zero moves it into the tens of thousands column. So we've got, instead of four tens, we've got four tens of thousands, and then our nine moves from the units column uh, past the tens, hundreds, and into the thousands. So we've got um, 49, and we'll, we'll just put our zeros in as well to make sure we're getting this correct. We've got zero in hundreds, zeros in tens, zeros in units. They come from our tenths hundredths and thousandths column. Uh, our answer, if you count back three zeros and put a comma in, it might help you um, say this number correctly. We've got 49,000, which makes sense. 49 lots of 1,000 is 49,000. Uh, we can use this technique to multiply numbers, including decimals. So if we had 6.7, we wanted to multiply that by 100, we could write out our 6.7 in its respective columns, it, with the figures in their respective columns. Uh, we've got six in the units column, set in the tenths column. Uh, the two zeros mean we need to move the figures two places to the left in the columns they're in, so we need to include uh, units, tens and hundreds. Our um, six moves two columns to the left in terms of place value, so it's now 600, and the figure in the tenths column, the seven, moves out of the tenths column into the units and then one more space to account for uh, the two zeros into the tens column. So then we're gonna have, um, let me just neaten this up a bit. We'll move the six below. The seven goes into the um, tens column. So we've got 600, and seven ten, so 670. 6.7 times 100 is 670, which sort of makes sense. If we ignore the tenths for a minute to get a ballpark figure, six times 100, six lots of 100 is 600, and then the seven tenths times 100 gives us 70, so 6.7 times 100 is 670.